Hi everyone, it is September 28, 2019. Have you noticed the headlines, mainstream media, whether local, national, doesn't matter. They are, they are ramming this down our throats. Climate change, getting impatient. They've got that deadline, 2030. But the push of this is really sickening. And they're creating the weather to make people, force people to believe that climate change is real. Can we get people to even consider that man is manipulating, modifying, intensifying, creating weather? I don't think so. Despite all the evidence that we have, uh, I don't think that people will even look at it. Which means a lot of destruction is coming to all of us. Climate change threatens health in Northwest. You, I've been looking at some of these headlines and I'm like, wow, man. All right, let's look at the weather. Marine heat wave dubbed blob resurges in Pacific mass deaths of sea life feared. All right, I'm never going to apologize for being upset about what is taking place. I am upset. I am upset. Um, you know, man, the two-legged, has no, no right to do this to other species, and they are doing it. They are doing it. And it's really hard to see how many people just don't care, and I won't ever apologize for saying that as well. Farmers impacted as heat wave continues. So farming, whoa, took a nosedive due to the flash flooding that was absolutely created by man. Drought, ah, oh, drought monitor shows mother nature is showing no mercy to farmers. And I'm going to show you how it ain't mother nature. It is not mother nature. This is Southeast Alabama. Yeah, one of the driest, probably one of the hottest Septembers on record. And that heat is induced. And I have proof, which I will show you in a minute. Friday evening storms bring hail, heavy rains to the metro area. It was Kansas the City, Missouri. Everything now is severe thunderstorms, hail, flash floods, uh, lightning, tornadoes, everything. All weather reports. Do you see just normal weather? Like, oh, it's going to rain instead of severe thunderstorm bringing five inches of rain in two minutes and tornadoes and hail. Okay, well, Kansas City area, heavy rains, hail, uh, tornado possibly, and it's going to die down in a couple of hours for you guys. Oh, but more storms are expected to form Saturday evening. Can't get away from those severe storms, huh? This winter storm could bring 50 inches of snow to parts of Washington, Idaho. Well, the 50 inches, that is Western Montana. And high winds, blizzard-like conditions, near zero visibility, cold temperatures, wind chills expected on Sunday in the Northern Rockies, Pacific Northwest. Uh, 50 inches of snow coming to Montana. Idaho, Montana, Washington State, look out. And heavy rain and thunderstorms moving through Illinois Friday afternoon with another round of severe weather likely to begin overnight. Flash flooding possible. Damaging winds, large hail expected to sweep parts of Wichita, Kansas, 
Chicago, Illinois. It's the storm system's path. And Chicago, wow. Thousand flights canceled tonight. It's not, it doesn't stop, guys. Woman rescued from her home during Friday's flash flooding, Illinois. Um, rescues. It doesn't stop. A line of storms passed through the area. Many were moving quickly, generating strong wind, large hail. The amount of rain wasn't as much as earlier, but by late Friday night, much of central Illinois was soggy. Nobody is questioning this. Nobody's questioning what's happening here. Do they really think that this climate change suddenly brought about radical changes? Because, well, it doesn't happen that way. And it would mean, let's say, a doubling of that CO2, they claim, is causing the global warming, the climate change. You'd have to have a doubling of it which means that they would have had to create a whole lot of manufacturing and, you know, oh, uh, why aren't people questioning this? Uh, this doesn't come about unless man is controlling the weather. And my God, how many of us have been posting the evidence? Yes, I have a weather modification playlist. Yes, I have a geoengineering playlist. I have a climate change, global warming fraud playlist. So, unfortunately, um, most Americans just don't have, have the ability to really use their brains anymore. And whether it's fear, whether it's, you know, just don't bother me with this crap and I don't care. Um, who knows, but what really is upsetting is to watch life die because we have so many people who refuse to look into what truly is happening here with our weather. And it's so obvious, very obvious, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, this wink weekend could bring renewed flash flooding concerns. So, you're never out, you know, no matter where you are. If they want to bring flash flooding, they will do it. You know, what really boggles my mind is that we are watching something now happen pretty much on a daily basis. We don't have just, hey, a little bit of rain, you know, that weather that we used to have. Now we, it's all severe. It's all severe, 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 right? It should beg questions. Here. So you'll know first, this is WVTM 13 Live Doppler. An incredible view and beautiful sunrise underway. Regions Field, downtown Birmingham, off in the distance. A very warm start to our Friday, 76 degrees. Absolutely amazing. We're talking about being just a few degree or a few days away from the start of October. 70 degrees in Tuscaloosa, 71 in Annis and out the door to start off your Friday, and it's going to be downright hot this afternoon. These are the temperatures. This is Atlanta. No, Alabama, I'm sorry. Okay. Afternoon. Record highs likely today, tomorrow, Sunday, again on Monday. So we had a record high yesterday in Birmingham. We're likely going to see at least another four to five days in a row. Flor yeah, four to five days in a row. It's October 1st in just a couple of days. 96, 96. Um, they're making this heat to force people to believe that global warming is actually happening. 
Anderson, South Carolina. <laughs> come on up, Paige, come on up. 77 degrees, 12 a.m. 77 degrees, and we are looking at 91 tomorrow, 93 Sunday, 91, 90, 93, 95, 93. <gasps> wow, a drop, 81 Saturday. And they are inducing this. They are making it happen, and I'm going to show you how. But first, the headlines. I'm okay on this computer now. I'm having so many problems again. And well, <laughs> all right. Um, can't get off the ads either. That's it. That's it. All right. Hate Columbia's heat now. It will be dangerously hot in a few years. Study says this was July. I take a look at the headlines of the local newspapers here, Independent Mail, Greenville News. Every, uh, the headlines are really, well, I guess nobody seems to care much that Agenda 2030 is still going on, ramping up here in our Piedmont Atlantic mega region. Um, the climate change over and over. Oh my God. No, the heat, it's going to be dangerously hot in a few years. Study says in a state widely known for scorching summer days, the prospect of even hotter weather can't be reassuring for South Carolina's more than 5 million residents. I can't get this to stop. Um, but in the middle of this century, the number of sweltering days in the Palmetto State is forecast to increase by more than 350% if little or nothing is done to stop man-made climate change. By the end of the century, the increase could approach 600%. Key conclusions in a report released Tuesday that shows the United States is heating up rapidly as the Earth's climate changes. I, you know, what's the point? What's the point? Researchers at the Union of Concerned Scientists say it's already too late to prevent all of the rising heat, but the country can slow down the trend with aggressive action <clears throat> to halt man-made global warming. If the country takes no action, the number of dangerously hot days is expected to skyrocket in many areas, most notably, notably the southeast, resulting from increases in carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases that trap heat in the atmosphere. Hey, but who cares about the tens of thousands of scientists who dispute this right here? Who cares about them? You're never going to hear from them. But I thought it was interesting. Listen to this. So this guy at the University of North Carolina, Charles Chip Conrad, a leading regional authority on global warming. He had the, all right, he had the audacity to say this. We know the climate is warming up. It's getting hotter in Columbia, South Carolina, not only because of this intensifying urban heat island, but also because of climate change. There is no scientist in the country that would doubt that. Oh my God. <laughs> it is a problem that is only going to get worse. Yeah, I, I, nothing upsets me more than to read or hear people lying. And that's what I'm stuck with, that's it. And I can't believe it. There is no scientist in the country that would doubt that. When tens of thousands of American scientists have signed a statement that says CO2 is not 
warming up the planet. We need more CO2. And they said man is not causing climate change. But no scientist in the country would doubt that. When I have on my channel, when there are so many channels with American scientists who dispute what CHIP states. This just came in September 23rd. Famously hot, not just Columbia. Yeah, that Greenville and Anderson. My South Carolina may get hotter. And boy, boy, are they. Woof! You know, the writing of it, very dramatic. Great. Great. <laughs> All right. I will tell you that something is very wrong with the atmosphere. The heat here. Now, I, I've never been one to like air conditioning. Not up north during our two weeks, late August of the heat waves, um, but not even here in South Carolina. I can't stand it. It just, it doesn't make me feel good. So the first couple of years, it was not a problem. This summer and well, now this fall, something has definitely changed. Like there's no oxygen in the air. The air is dead and I'm seeing it in the cats. They are flat out not moving or moving slowly. And I don't like the fact that this is coming about not naturally, but man is doing it. So, um, yeah, they're going to be ramming things down our throat now. And we're going to watch Agenda 2030. Woof. It's going to be so in our face. Um, all right. Well, here we go. Summer heat to last into October for many in the East. Above average temperatures will continue for the next 10 days from New England down to the Gulf Coast. When we take a look at a map like this. As uh, temperatures will remain 5 to 15 degrees above average. Out in the Atlantic, Tropical Storm Karen is still forecast to turn towards the U.S. I think Karen uh, dissipated. And there's another hurricane, Lorenzo, I think. Well, that's a Category 4, and where that's going to land, don't know. Don't know. So, look at this heat. It's all created. Now, remember that plasma that I've been talking about that we've been seeing on radar? Nice, isn't it? Look at all of these frequencies. Look at the sustained blue that is taking place. This is the storm where flash flooding is occurring. And those, well, tornadoes and hail. Look at the frequencies too, affecting this storm. Nice, isn't it? Um, plasma. Plasma. Well, first, let me show you College of DuPage with these storms. Okay, you have sustained radar. You've got an awful lot of what is referred to as harp next ride rings. Frequencies are frying this storm 
and you can see it, the sawtooth frequency. Oh, wow. Now that was quite a belt of an extremely low frequency. Um, nothing, nothing is natural about this storm. Nothing at all. It looks fried. And here's an extremely low frequency. There was extremely low frequencies. And wow, hit it. Good. All right. All of the circular patterns, that's a signature of high frequency. And the very long, um, what you can see the very long cutouts in the green pattern, which green means rain, uh, but now it doesn't. Um, those are extremely low frequencies. And with those frequencies, they can modify, manipulate, steer, intensify weather. And they're bringing about an awful lot of damage. And we've got a whole lot of Americans who refuse to even engage in discussion about it and a whole lot that just don't care. They are hanging on to the lie. Hanging on to the lie. It is what Americans are exceptional at. Lying and accepting lies. Telling themselves a fabulous story about who they are when they ain't. So, now look at these sawtooth right up here. <laughs> Amazing. It's really It's, it's just not going to stop. Look at all of these frequencies. My God. Rippling through this storm. Bringing damage. Well. <laughs> it's, well, that's it. Yeah. All right. I, I just wanted to show you. Uh, so when we're talking about the plasma, how about this? Uh, <laughs> yeah, feels like old days with my, the computer that died. Cosmic particle ignition of artificially ionized plasma patterns in the atmosphere. Artificially ionized plasma patterns. This is what you're seeing. By the way, this I took at about, um, mm, what time was it? It was about 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Well, now yesterday. Don't you think that this is very interesting? Wow, check it out. Perfect line, a very, like, boom, wow, very defined, and it develops severe storms. Wow, they literally erupt out of nowhere. And look at all of this plasma that they are creating artificially. But I did want to zoom in on that section and look at that oh wow you can see all of the extremely low frequencies as well but wow man creating weather okay that plasma the artificial ionized 
plasma? Hey, guess what? They can use that for weather control. Yep, weather control. And I put in, because I was looking for that, you know, the heat, heat waves, uh, creating heat, atmospheric heat, heating the air. So I just put in a search of that word heat, and I came up with a whole lot. It was, well, great. Now I've lost that, and it didn't stay put, and now I can't get it back. What is going on here? Jesus, hang on. All right, let's... Uh, Very strange things are happening. I can't even do a friggin' word search. All right. Well, yeah. <laughs> Hang on, please. This is a very long patent, so it would have been easier if that control F, you know, the word search worked. This is the first time I've ever experienced it. Not working, but it's not working. Okay, atmospheric heating. Wow, atmospheric heating can be used to generate heated air regions. Oh, artificially ionized plasma. They can heat the air. Well, I have more highlightings, but if I could have just clicked on that one little word, it would have brought us to it very, very, very quickly. But no, no. Yeah, it talks about how it can be used to heat the air. It's an atmospheric heating. And, uh, and we can't get through to people. We can't get through to people. Localized heating of the atmosphere. Localized heating of the atmosphere. Heat the air in the pattern by directing electromagnetic waves. Wave radiation at the pattern at a frequency that absorbs in a desired distance in the air. There are many ways in which they can heat the air and get the masses to believe in global warming. And that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. So, I will link below to this patent heating method can quickly supply temperature rises in the air that are consistent with those natural wave systems that influence atmospheric weather. But they can also with this, that plasma that you see, um, do an awful lot in terms of controlling the weather. Mesocyclones, okay. Um, how about, how about what's happening in our skies? Now, okay, this was the radar video of the capture. Obviously, something's very wrong here, okay? that very defined line that shoots out severe storms. But why don't we take a look at what they were dumping in our atmosphere tonight. Tonight. And... Come on, computer! You can do it! You can do it! Yay! Well... <laughs> this was tonight. Will it play? <laughs> yeah, this is this is what's going on now all the time. With this computer. Uh, what is that in our sky? Black carbon dust. Dumping it in huge amounts. They were dumping black carbon dust. 
it was all over. That was a huge pulsating frequency, by the way. When the camera goes out of focus, that is a pulsating frequency. So, this was our sky. Microwaved, pulsating frequencies, black carbon dust. Well, I will read some of a paper. One of the authors, Gray, can't remember his first name, last name Gray, and boy, has our U.S. military, they have relied on Gray's knowledge of using black carbon dust for weather modification, also to heat up the atmosphere to create heat waves. That's not all it can do, but when I see the dumping, like what you are seeing right here, the dumping of black carbon dust, I know they're up to something for sure, but it's, you know, look, it's even on the 25th at night, at night, there was a pink glow in the sky, the lithium and the black, which is a little bit harder to see, and the frequencies, and they're bringing about a heat that makes it very difficult to function. Because they're going to force Americans to believe the lie when it's so friggin' obvious that something ain't quite right, to say the least. I, I, the sky here is like a marvel, you know? Black carbon clouds, orange skies, pink skies, pink clouds, microwaved, microwaved skies. Pulsating, that is your good old frequencies. Pink clouds, black clouds, pink clouds on top. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, but let's believe in the climate change, global warming horseshit. Let's not look up at that sky and then ask, what is it? No, let's not do that. Here's another huge pulse. Let's not do that. Let's not ask what all of that pink crap is in our sky. Yeah, let's just be little kids and believe. Daddy and Mommy. It's become so obvious that it's, it's just, you know, Well, what you gonna do? The truth doesn't matter to most people. They don't care. They don't care. More pulsating frequencies. More pulsating frequencies. Long pulse. But the sky, yeah, you know it. Many of you see it. Many of you see it in your own areas. This is our sky. Nobody will look up it and question it. I, I honestly... Life has just become, it's kind of like a meaningless clusterfuck of absurdity. I don't know what to make of it anymore. All right, Gray's paper, weather modification by carbon dust, absorption of solar energy, artificial heat source, powerful heat source, tremendously powerful heat source, 
These aren't my words. I highlighted the words in this document. Yeah, they have nice little diagrams and radiation induced temperature changes and carbon black dust as an artificial atmospheric heat source. Yes, characteristics of carbon dust which make it so attractive as an atmospheric heat source is the extraordinary quantity of solar radiation which can be absorbed by a unit mass of carbon. Sensible heat gain by the air. Carbon dust conducts heat to the air mass directly, accelerating snowmelt. <gasps> the ice caps are melting. Large amounts of carbon dust particles can be dispersed from inexpensive ground generators into the boundary layer by warming the boundary layer air under proper conditions, it should be possible to accelerate the spring melt of the snowpack, thereby increasing the growing season. And how about increasing the flooding season? They can do that too. An increase in air temperature of 5 Celsius can increase the snowmelt rate enormously through increased heat transfer from the air to the snow. Ah, I'll just click on them if you want to read. Go ahead. It can enhance rainfall. Wow. It can huh, generate cirrus clouds. A cloud cluster growth or intensity increases. Reduce high daytime temperatures. Inhibit frost occurrence reduction in intensity of the hurricanes. <gasps> ah, black carbon. They can reduce the intensity of hurricanes. I guess they just don't want to. Uh, cumulonimbus enhancement, alteration of extratropical cyclones, raising di daytime temperature, accelerating snowmelt. Wow. Aesthetic effects. No fallout of carbon particles dirtying the countryside. Ah, but that's not true. It depends on how much they're spraying. Snow in Great Barrington, 2012. Wow. I could see black or dark gray particles. It, 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 was, it, it created a sheen over the snow. The aesthetic impact of the carbon primarily concerns the appearance of the air containing the carbon. Probable appearance, a hazy day. A hazy day. The aesthetic effect, slight reduction in visibility. The appearance of a slight haze. Yeah. 10% area coverage of carbon dust provides enough heat in to increase the main temperature, the mean temperature of the air. Oh, yeah, at a rate of about one degree Celsius an hour for a 10 hour period. And we also have another way to do this. Um, how about that weather modification by artificial satellite? Which, and of course, this isn't work. Okay, thank you. Uh, here are a whole lot that they can do with weather modification by satellite, um, but they can warm a local region. All links are below. Uh, life is dying, guys, and people are being made sick and fighting constantly the frequencies and the weather modification and these heat waves that are induced by man and then having to deal with so many of your fellow Americans that don't care yeah, it's definitely not easy. Not easy. With this method, it can result in rapid heating of another air mass. <laughs> well, this is life now. Can't believe it, though. Everything is a friggin' lie.